Okay, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two bottles of water. First up is Saratoga Sparkling Spring Water. Next up is Seltzer's Mineral Water. This is a carbonated mineral water. And so let's just start off by you know, telling you guys what they have in common. They're both pretty big bottles. They're both in glass containers. They're both pretty nice looking bottles. Like, you know, if you saw these from a distance, you might think that these are like bottles of, you know, maybe wine or maybe a nice vodka or, you know, they're, they're pretty good, you know, looking bottles. They both have metallic lids. They both have custom bottles because they have like logos engraved into the glass. You can see there. And so I'm going to do a taste test comparison and just tell you guys which one I think tastes better. And there's a lot to drink, so let's just go ahead and open them up right away. Here's Saratoga. So you can see it bubbling up a little bit, but it's not exploding, which is good. No smell to it at all. Here is Saratoga. Oh, I thought for a second there, I thought it was going to explode, but just bubbled up and then stopped pretty quickly. So I should let you guys know that I bought both of these about five months ago, five or six months ago. They've been sitting over there for a long time. So that might affect their carbonation. Maybe they're less carbonated now, uh, but who knows? Um, this one, the... Uh, Seltzer's actually warns you. It says, don't face it towards your, your eyes when you open it because it's under pressure. They actually warn you to have it facing away from you. I guess so that the, you know, the lid doesn't shoot in your eyeball. Okay, so here we go. Let's just do the taste test. Here we go. Seltzer's mineral water. Another thing these, these have in common is they're both really old. The Seltzer's is from 1789. And the Saratoga is from 1872. I thought that I thought that was really old at first, 1872. But then I found out, you know, almost 100 years older. Is that's, I mean that's the years that they started bottling. That's not how old these bottles themselves are. But here, here we go. Here's the taste test. Yeah, it's just a. Pretty standard carbonated water. It's, it, it's like, you know, I can feel the bubbles on my mouth even after I, I swallow. Um, I'm just going to try this one. Here we go. The carbonation levels are pretty close, actually. I'm going to try... Uh, pouring them in a glass just to give you a better idea of how much carbonation there is. Let's see some bubbles there on the side. Let's try this one now. So this one, it's kind of different. It leaves bubbles like on the side of it. So this one kind of has bigger bubbles. And this one kind of foamed up a little bit more. But they're both very similar, but um, just a slight difference. And I should let you guys know, I've mentioned this in my previous reviews, I don't really like carbonated water at all. Um, but I'm giving them both a fair shot because they're up against each other with, you know, they're both carbonated. You know, I was thinking I would pick the winner mainly based on which one is the least carbonated, but they're actually both so similar tasting, you know, it's, I can't really do that. Seltzer's Mineral Water is carbonated, and it has a high mineral content, and it's a product of Germany. Saratoga Water is a product of New York. It's actually from 
the area called Saratoga, New York. It's like the town. And so I was researching this a little bit, and I kind of found out that that Saratoga has a history of like suing other companies who use the name Saratoga because they they have the trademark for it. Um, but because it's the name of the town, there's another company called Saratoga Juice Bar, which is being sued by this company because they have Saratoga in the name. That's kind of a crappy thing to do. I mean, I guess they have to defend their trademark, but it's kind of a crappy thing. And, and they're doing it because they're both drinks. And I kind of, I kind of understand them doing it, but at the same time, <coughs> excuse me, at the same time kind of put a bad taste in my mouth hearing that they did that. Saratoga also has a still version and they have a flavored version. I also bought one of the still versions of Saratoga and I'll be reviewing it in a future video. Um, this was from State College, Pennsylvania which you guys saw me go on a trip there several months ago. This is from the store Wegmans. And I don't remember the exact price, but I'm, I'm thinking a couple bucks. I, I would guess two or three dollars for this bottle. The Settler's bottle was from the store The Fresh Market. And this was two dollars and ninety nine cents. I've still got the receipt, so I know that's accurate. Which is pretty expensive for a bottle of water. $2.99. But I guess it's kind of high because it had to be shipped all the way from Germany. And that's... <coughs> Excuse me. Pretty. That's pretty far to ship that. You know, for a glass bottle. I guess it has to be a padded package and stuff to protect the glass bottle. I'm kind of curious what the price of this is if you bought it in Germany. Like, I wonder if the more expensive price is just because of the shipping costs. Okay, so this one has 62 milligrams of sodium and 9 milligrams of magnesium. And that's pretty much it. This is from 1789. And... It might actually be before that, because on Wikipedia it says that J.F. Westrum reported he had sold a million bottles of this in 1789. And so, I think this is kind of a popular bottle in Germany. I think this might even be where the word seltzer came from, because it said something about that on Wikipedia. Seltz, you know, it's like a similar looking word um, so it might have been like mistranslated between languages or something like that and there's even a museum on Wikipedia it says there's a Selters museum so it must be somewhat popular there excuse me alright so I don't know this is a really tough one because the taste is basically equal to me I guess I'm just going to go with Selter with this one. Um, just say this one is the winner and moving on to the next round. Uh, I guess I prefer I prefer the clear bottle. Because I just prefer clear bottles because you can see it. And um, I, I like that they didn't... They're not suing small companies over their trademark. And I don't know. I don't have a really strong reason. I'm just picking this one to move on to the next round. They're both really close though, so sorry, Saratoga. You are out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye.